Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some max speed Hecarim jungle with Predator, Sun Impact, Eyeballs with Ingenious to put our Predator and Chem Tank on a lower cooldown, Celerity, Water Walking, Attack Speed 80, and Armor. With this build, we're gonna be able to make every gank successful ideally, and we can use our Predator for a successful gank, then our Chem Tank, then our Ghost to where we can cycle them through. We don't have to use them all at once unless we need that extra damage from passive really. Because in reality, in a gank, as long as you're faster than your opponent, you don't need to use everything else as well. So, this build basically lets you stay on the map, have really impactful ganks. You could play it with Conquer or Phase Rush. You will miss out on the early game gank potential from Predator. Also, if you have the stronger backline, which we do with the Aphelios, we have. I think we can get away with Predator. We won't need Conquer to do damage. We're gonna go ahead and start botling best leash possible. Full clear into gank with ghost. Reset for predator gank, gank, then clear again. Hecarim is not in the strongest spot right now by any means. Even if you run him with conquer, he can struggle to solo a lot of junglers like Trundle, Vi, even Master Yi, Warwick, Xin Zhao, Lee Sin, Graves, all that fun stuff. So if you're playing Hecarim, you're picking him because you like his aesthetic or you're picking him because you like his ganks. You're not really picking him for his raw one versus one potential because uh, it's just not there if you want to up his one versus one potential take conquer and ignite and it will help but uh it's not a cure all by any means I'm trying to keep my q stacks up why crossover don't know if it all right it was worth it i kept them up it puts your Q on a much lower cooldown. Red side's more difficult than blue side. Oh man, I just messed up. I needed to pull the big raptor out. <laughs> oh well. We'll hop right over with our E. Not the end of the world. And then we'll take our blue and gromp at the same time, preferably. Your Q has more range than your autos, and you can Q while you're in the middle of auto attacking without canceling your auto. Go ahead and kill the blue buff first, applying our red buff, burn jungle item burn to both of them, and obviously our Q. I think, is, okay, it looked like Trinity is coming to ward, but he stopped. We should be able to full clear a little faster than a mastery. Mastery finishes around 325, 330, we finish 320. It's decent. And we're full HP and still have a refill. Not too shabby for a currently low tier jungler. We need our E up to kill Ari. It might be able to kill him even without the Malzahar here. Malzahar. Right, here we go. We're going to ghost on the earlier side. Come in with our E. We don't have phase. Oh, yeah. She knows that probably gonna kill you even if she flashed away so she really went for that i don't really want to steal this guy's minions in fact i tried to pull the wave over so it he could spread it didn't work out that way though nice getting a lot of golden xp here beautiful looks like bot scuttle's gone from the wukong can't really do anything top out of top nautilus who's building some doo doo feces items. <laughs> he has a coal and a tear. I don't know, bro. I don't think we're gonna be able to help that guy. First item rush, we'll grab boots, tier, and a chunk of chem tank. Tier two boots is a good rush on Hecarim, but if you have Predator, you're moving twice as fast as them, anyways, to where having the extra 25 movement speed from tier two boots isn't really gonna give us that much value. It's not even 25, 20 movement speed extra when we're already moving twice as fast. Very meh. Bot lane doesn't really look gankable. They're still kind of healthy and they're underneath turret. Maybe if Thresh was an aftershock support, that could tank turret. Raven's too healthy. Plus, it's a Karma. It's really dangerous with her point and click chain CC. We're going to look to gank Ari again. She has no flash. Once Malzahar is 6, we'll plop right over to mid lane and say hello. Wukong's going bot again. Yeah. That's kind of a uh, force. He hasn't even bought his items yet. He's showing himself on the map. We can take his top side now. 
as a jungler see this is why it's really important i say this a lot but you never gank unless you're super positive you're going to get a kill out of it because now he's going to lose his raptors for that my top lane can play more aggro mid lane can play more aggro and if i was the type of jungler like kha'zix or kane where i could go in his jungle and kill him then that would give me the option to take raps and sit on it wait for him kill him that type of thing just opens up a lot of doors for your opponents whenever you show as a jungler Don't know why Malzahar is backing. I guess he's out of mana. Backing at an awkward time for sure. It's TPing back. Ari has R. I feel like I can't kill her now. I don't know. I guess we can try Trindamir. Not Nautilus is pretty far behind. I guess we'll try it. We'll use Predator into E. I'm going to let that hit him. Then I'm going to knock him towards the Nautilus. And Trinomir didn't use R either because he thought he was going to die anyways because he was or because he just didn't expect that Nautilus ability to finish him off. I don't really want to steal his minions. He's kind of just missing them. Draven ends up getting a double kill. That's not what I like to see. Wait, is this guy's red buff up? It is. All right, we'll take that. He might have gone for Dragon since bot lane's popping off and his bot lane's missing now. Plus, they did see me top side. It's either on Dragon or on my red buff. Javen might have just backed as he's sitting on one long sword. Okay, they were taking Dragon. Hope they don't go for my blue buff. My Predator is up here in a second. Such a short cooldown, man. I need uh, Ari to push up a little bit. That would make things a lot easier. Yeah, we got our R. That's not too bad. We burned our R for her R. Malzahar has a CS lead at least, so. It's okay, I guess. We still have Ghost we can gank. Ghost plus Hecarim E is good enough. Hecarim is basically like a bruiser Ramus. That doesn't suck, because Ramus. I don't know, man. I feel like Ramus is so bad after they reworked his R. He has no damage on it. Even if he lands it, it's one of the lowest damage abilities in the game. It's like 100 damage, 100 base, maybe 200 base max. It's absurd. Easy to dodge, easy to juke, easy to flash skill shot. Does very little damage, even if he does land it. We'll be going bot lane here in a second with our E and Ghost. Oh, and hey, look at that Predator. It's about to be up. Could go Yomu's first item for the mobility. Chem Tank gives you so much mobility as well and keeps you from dying. So they're, they're both pretty dang good for this. We're gonna Predator, we're gonna Ghost, E. And it looks like uh, our AD carry died anyways. Thresh took the shutdown, not super happy about that. Karma speeds up out of there. I hope Thresh can carry with that shutdown there. <laughs> oh, don't let her stop my recall there. All right. We can get most of our chem tank. We can even go Winter's Approach. That wouldn't be that bad. We'll grab Balmies. We'll grab that. And I'll even go for the tier two since we're so far off from chem tank. I'm not going to back till I can get chem tank anyways here. Looks like Nautilus went for plated. That's a really good item. Maybe he's rushing Winter's Approach. I see the tier Ruby Crystal. Misses his Q, lands the R, and manages to get away. I don't need him to die here for this. I don't need him. Just Predator E, zero skill gank. No skill required. My favorite type of junglers. Go ahead and max E second. That's sweet, sweet cooldown reduction. I'll, I'll try going mid. I I just don't know if this Malzahar. I really don't know. I oh, yeah. I mean, I could have R'd. I'm kind of glad I didn't because I would have died. Got him with the red smite Q. 
I'm threatening the Wukong to where if I knew if she dashed forward to try to finish Malzahar, I'd kill Wukong there when I was on my E. Yeah, I just don't think I can help Malzahar. It R is so hard for me to get to. My R animation is so long, she can R away, away from it, essentially. It's just too difficult. Me and this uh, Malzahar don't have the synergy. Ooh. I read smite though. She charmed early. She is so fast though, dude. <laughs> She's hauling. As long as we're ganking and having mostly successful ganks every time our predator's up, ghost is up, or R is up, we should be able to carry this. Yeah, Malzar, you're dead, dude. I mean, I'll come. I think you're dead though. You gotta press R. Yep, he's dead. That sucks. He's just so low HP the second he comes out of that. I don't have the damage right now to uh, really kill that Wukong. Plus, Arya was behind it. Even if I got there really early, I would have had to die to secure the kill. Because Arya would have finished me. Gotta pull this back. Blue Buff's gonna try to reset on us. not just about how far away you are from it it's also about how far you've pulled it like where it's standing also plays into its patience they don't like to stand outside of a certain range so red buffs coming up i think ari's backing i would take Harold if this ward wasn't here it's too risky my top laner's not there they have this area warded they'll just be super greedy is this warded? No. Okay, she's showing back mid again. I just can't help that guy. He's unhelpable. He doesn't have flash. He doesn't have R. Predator E. Knock him out of his dash. I'm gonna shoot him back that way. And he's dead. <laughs> you can't move. We just gotta spread out our CC. We're so fast too. We get there with the predator, and then we have our ghost to stay on top of him. It's like having an artificial phase rush. Ghost is such a short cooldown. Kind of need to get these heralds. It's so hard though, dude. It's not easy. Trinimir, for the most part, is having more prio unless I gank. Simultaneously, Ari's equal prio. I have to get these, though. They're going to have Dragon Prio with the bot differential of Draven in the early game. He's popping off. He also took Cleanse, which is going to be more useful against the Thresh. You can cleanse the hook, and then Thresh can't really do anything. Even if he can manage to land it on Draven, which wouldn't be particularly easy. Needed to get this a little bit sooner. Getting it after the 14 minute mark sucks because now we can't even get the plates. It looked like Wukong went in bot side. I'm going to reset for chem tank. I don't think Malzahar can help me. Maybe he can. Well, we got her R. It's decent. We didn't really burn anything for it. Yes! Let's go, boys! <laughs> she greeted so hard. She just ticked at me for blowing her R and tried to put some pain on me. Now we'll go for Mana Moon for a little bit of AD. After Mana Moon, we'll go Dead Man's Force of Nature. Maybe a Yule Moose. So we'll see. We're already so gosh darn fast. Moving around the map. Bada boom, baby. Lost bot turret. Oof. Draven's still shoving. He's too full item. 15 minute mark. Oh my god. Must have got some big cashins. Karma's not a full item yet when Draven's too full freaking item. How balanced is that? That is ridiculous. We couldn't even fear him. I don't know if our arm missed or if he cleansed it like frame perfect there, but. 
Yeah, I can't. She put chain on me. If I went underneath turret to knock it back towards my teammates, it would have ended really badly for us. She's hurting me so bad. Doing me so much damage. Zero item karma over there. I mean, wow, I even have some magic resist. Magic resist and HP item. It's not enough. Only way we win this game is off. Oh, wait. We can't get double health because I took it too late. Rip. Yeah, I don't know. I guess as long as I don't die, maybe. With the Felio scaling, we have a solid chance. They have less kills than us. Draven has so much gold from his cash outs that... Uh, they're in a pretty good spot. We don't have anyone to match a Trindomir split push. And... Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we can't match the Trin split push. Draven's ridiculously fed. So, yeah, this game's gonna get challenging. Once Trin starts taking my caps, it's gonna be super annoying. He also went for a hole breaker. That item is cracked. It's basically two items. Two for one if you're by yourself. You don't have a teammate near you. We'll predator. We'll save Kemp Tank to stay on top of him. Oh, he must not have flash. Or ghost, I should say. You're dead. Goodbye, Trin. I think we got his flash and his ghost. Beautiful. Not easy to kill a flash Trin. Go tra <laughs> a flash trend. A flash ghost trend in mirror. Because he also has his dashes. One to two dashes while you're chasing him. Depending on how low his cooldowns are. Decent damage, honestly, if you think about it. He's one full item, I'm one full item. I do have tier 2 boots advantage in terms of mobility, but still. Like, Hole Breaker is objectively a better item than this for one versus for solos. So, really not too shabby. I, I get it, he's missing half health, but still. This build isn't really meant to one versus one solo people. It's meant to burst and to uh, gank. It's its main function. Dragon's gone. He's actually spam pinging me with a goofball. I don't think we even win that. Draven item advantage plus uh, Wukong R there. I think that fight would have had really high potential to go awry. And then they're like, you know what? Let's fight anyways. We might as well. Draven's not there, so the fight's working out really well. R gets knocked up. Trin's top side, so it, it's basically a four versus four. Once Draven gets a little bit closer. We're gonna lose top turret. Trin's gonna start taking my jungle. Phyllis decides he wants to try to solo Draven, because since he couldn't do it before, now he can, especially when Draven has more items. Big brain plays. No one's going to match the trend even better. I guess Nautilus decided he was done doing that. He's over it. Trin's going to be on my, uh, on my Grom. Nope. I guess he just reset. You're scared. Once Trin starts getting your camps, you lose the game. It puts you behind, you get so far ahead, no one can touch him. They almost have soul. They're really close. We'll go Mana Moon into Dead Man's. Should probably get a uh I guess I'll just grab an armor for now. I might have to get a Bramble Vest before I get my Dead Man's. Draven, big healer, karma. Can kind of heal if she gets redemption. Wukong's gonna be healing off Conk and Divine. Trin has heals, already has some heals. So we'll get pretty good value out of it. We can also get decent value out of Thorn Milk because our art can AoE apply the 60% heal cut from the hard CC. Can apply it to their whole team at once. I, I, there's no reason for me to go in on her there. Not only can I not kill her, but uh, her teammates could show up and thrash me there. So, 
Very low, low reward, ridiculously high risk. Just wanted to get her charm. See if I could. Karma is such an annoying champion. Die! Yeah, <laughs> boy! Got him! Let's go! <laughs> Oh, I think I'm dead. It wasn't worth it. And Karma gets the shutdown. It wasn't worth it. I was really scared of giving Draven uh, his passive gold. In a weird way, it's kind of worth. Just because, like, if she's not alive, who's going to pill for Draven? Because he's their most fed. But I'm pretty fed myself, right? <laughs> so, I don't know. Not quite. Not quite. I really do like this build on Hecarim. I think playing him Conquer Divine Sunder right now isn't really worth it. If you look at Divine Sunder Conquer builds, they're very low right now. They're like under 50% across the board. But if you look at the Chemtech, Chemtank builds, they are around 60 to 70% win rate at the moment, which is pretty solid. Nothing to scoff at. Pretty decent. All we need is for them not to get Dragon Soul, and then we will, I think we win. Group up on one more fight. Draven's starting to lose some tempo. Hopefully, Felios is scaling because he's tied CS. Drag, fight, or lose. Like, it's really that simple. I guess he's going to wait on base, and then we lose because he wants Collector. So we're gonna wait for 33 gold. Holy crap. Alright. That's actually not bad. I thought it was gonna be longer than that. This passive build's pretty high. Ocean Soul is probably one of the best souls in the game. There's runes that increase healing and shielding, plus it interacts with spirit vestige in a positive way. So uh yeah, Ocean Soul is really, really strong. One of the best for sure. And I know you're going to say, well, you can heal cut it. True, but if you're not heal cutting it, holy crap. It's just game over. A lot of players don't build heal cut too. Or maybe only one of them has heal cut. Draven tried to snipe. I'm going to recall for trend here. I don't know why Malzahar TP. That seems like an overreaction. I'm gonna Predator, because I don't want this douche to get any of my camps. Predator speeds you up even if you don't have vision of them. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you, bud. Good luck getting away from me. Hey, you die now, Trindamir. Goodbye, my friend. Karma, not like this. Bait the Wukong R. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, got the R. Hey, let's go. We also got some. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, my God. Not like that. I hope they don't do Baron. Baron call here seems so bad with me dead. What if the enemies steal it? Of course, it's Draven who kills me too while I'm on my ghost resets. Had to be Draven. Malzahar is waiting for him. Malzahar just attacking me three levels up. You can run away. Nice. Nice. Team stopped hitting Baron when Draven Ard. I don't know if that was intentional, but it worked perfectly. And now we have Thornmel. Taking mostly physical damage. Whoa, look at that. 350 health, bro. That's insane. No wonder tanks are so strong this season. I mean, it's not like Holebreaker gives more health than... Oh, wait. It does. Oh, my goodness. It's not like Sterix. Oh, wait. Sterix does give more health than that tank item. Oh, wait. Titanic? That too? It's like, come on, guys. Look. Black Cleaver? It gives just as much. It's just like, come on. Where's the HP at? The only tank item that gives HP is Warmogs. Like everything else, actual tank items, the HP is this 
the same for the most part as bruisers. Take me back to the tank meta, baby. I miss playing Zach and Ramus. I miss it so much. One shotting and so long 80 carries. Well, I didn't actually get anything useful there. Instead, I just get chomped. Thrush is really far out of position. Just need to get him off. A, I think this guy's actually kind of toasted and roasted, hit him with Q-Tipper. Our Chemtech is a slow on the active. Then we have uh, our E speed up, Predator speed up, and our R. Oh my god, she ends up getting away. Disgusting. Basically, Trindamir can't get away from me. We can constantly clobber him. Predator, Chem, my E and R. I have four different tools for staying on top of him. Blue Smite would help with that. Overall, Red Smite is a, the better Smite, though, so. Jesus, Wukong's so annoying. We just need to leave. This is a bad fight. Pull back. There's nothing there. There's nothing there, guys. We have the inhib. <laughs> oh, man. That's always the scariest thing when you're the only person on your team who realizes you shouldn't be fighting something and the rest of your team's like, but we're here. Why don't we just fight? It's like, like, what are you going to do? There's You already got the inhib. You're waiting on the minions. <laughs> like, There's nothing to do. Don't be, don't be a hero. Our ghost is up. Chem tanks up. Preds up. We have everything every tool already tempted to jump karma i don't think i can actually kill her she's gonna outplay me with her point and click snare I'm gonna giga roast me he can have it i don't even need it red buff on me is gonna do just about nothing well actually maybe i should have taken it since you already had one Hey, friend. Push her back into my team. No one on my team. Oh, wait, there they are. My team did come. They do care about me. You do care. I'm going to go for dragon now. That was an overly aggressive invaded on my engage on my part. Phaleos is blasting everything, including his R on Trindamir. Trindamir R. We can't end here. Malzahar, no R. Felios, no R. Me, no R. We can't actually force a kill on them before it karma spawns, so might as well just drag and turret. It's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. I don't mind getting a free dragon. And if Felios is still scaling, so... Draven got shut down. Oof. Guys, you got to get out of here. We got to get out of here, boys. Ow! We're, <laughs> we're overstaying so hard. This is not a good fight. We don't have time to get turret or inhib, really. Might as well just leave. I guess team wants to stay. Malzor has R. We're making it work. I'd just rather not. We already have the tempo and an inhib. I would rather do a slow choke than risk it all, you know? We already have the... Uh, the submission hold building here. They'll have to tap in a moment. We don't have to release our, our grip and... Uh, change our weight distribution all we have to do is maintain maintain they will break i swear one inhibs enough for now okay thresh you need to land something on this guy 
That was like the first CC he landed. It's like, bro, you gotta flay into hook. You can't just hook. Trinimir's got tier two boots. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know how good that actually is to trade Thresh for Trin, because Trin's not really giving him any value. He's not building meaningful splits right now. Yeah, we should build a dragon. They're all in base. Come on, let's do it. Malzahar helps take this really fast with his max health double burn items. Malzahar could absolutely destroy them. And Draven, uh, cleanse doesn't work. Cleanse doesn't stop suppressions. It's the one thing it doesn't stop. Suppressions and displacements. Got it. Draven wasn't that far off. He threw his R just two or three seconds late. Pretty good guess. Now that we got the dead man's will be that much faster, that much tankier. Their main source of damage is their uh, top, top in AD carry. So we not we don't really have to itemize against the Ari right now. Our camp tank gives us the magic resist to counter out the Sork shoes, so we're good to go. Uh, we can't kill Ari. She has double HP items. It, when I say can't, I just mean like quickly. Because this is very tempo. I, I can't just chase her across the map and expect not to die. Her team's going to collapse. There's nothing happening. Yeah, give me enough time. I could kill her. I have enough mobility. I just have to close out in one to three second windows, basically. So I don't get Giga collapsed on. Looked like he went over that wall there. That was really weird. I wonder if this area is warded. Trinmere's bot side. Maybe we can find a pick top. Oh, he's on the opposite. All right, Predator E. Oh my God, I accidentally clicked on a minion there. It took off all my mobility. Yeah, he's a goner. We have way too much CC for Trinimir to do anything in a team fight. He would have to have QSS just for the Mal's R alone. Oh, I had to R away. I was actually going to die to Draven there. Down he goes, and that is a GG's. Surprisingly close game for the kill differential, mainly just because Draven's so fed that he has more items than our AD carry. Even though our AD carry really kept up in CS, so GG's well played. Had a lot of fun with this build. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damn ultimate enemy champions on this max speed Hecarim jungle build with no conquer, no ignite. We had uh nearly the second most damage in the game nearly tied with draven the most fed player in the game probably had the most gold if we look at it draven had 13k so we tech we did have more gold than draven that's a little surprising we had more kills he had more cs we had the third most gold in the game and we were the third highest damage it adds up malzahar was had more gold, but he didn't do more damage. So I'm pretty happy with that damage output considering we went for speed tanky hacker. And for damage taken, we took the most at 39k. Let's take a look at self mitigated. Self mitigated, Nautilus took the most, with Trindomir behind him. So, uh, yep, it is what it is. For runes, got 976 damage out of Predator. Really good value out of everything else. All in all, I'd say this build is really the only way to play hacker right now. You get all the utility and mobility and tankiness you need out of Chem Tank. And dead man's if you need heal cut sh sure grab thorn mel and mana moon's the only damage item you need for insane damage output and infinite mana spam so this is everything all only thing else you need is optional situational such as force of nature if they have magic damage if they have zero magic damage champions i probably wouldn't go for force of nature just be a waste at that point maybe like randuance or even a warmog to top off your hp especially if they don't have max health damage style items or champions if they have a lot of flat damage then that could be really good but all in all yep really like this build if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king six thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time